Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, May the 6th. It's year two, it's week five in Easter, and it's week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalms 24 and 29, and Luke chapter 4, verse 16 to 30. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, yours is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. Alleluia. Psalms 24 and 29. Yours is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is you who set it on the seas, who made it firm on the waters. Who shall climb your holy mountain? And who shall stand in your holy place? Those with clean hands and pure heart, who desire not worthless things, who have not sworn so as to deceive their neighbor. They shall receive your blessings and reward from you who save them. These are the ones who seek, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory, the Most High, the Mighty, the Valiant, the Most High, the Valiant in war? O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory, the Most High of heavenly armies, this is the King of glory. O give God Most High, you children of God, O give God Most High glory and power, we give your name the glory, we adore you, resplendent and holy. Your voice resounding on the waters, on the immensity of the waters. Your voice full of power, your voice full of splendor. Your voice shattering the cedars, shattering the cedars of Lebanon. You make Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. Your voice flashes flames of fire, your voice shakes the wilderness. You shake the wilderness of Kadesh, and your voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. O God of glory, you thunder. In your temple, they all cry glory. You sat enthroned over the flood. You sit as ruler forever. You give strength to your people. You bless your people with peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Yours is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, beginning at verse 16. Now when Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. And he stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is this not Joseph's son? And he said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do here also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at Capernaum. And he said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months and there was a severe famine over all the land. And yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. 
There were also many lepers in Israel at the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. And when they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up and drove him out of the town and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church in the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth and live together in your love and reveal your glory in all the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. We pray for the sick, especially Jeffrey and Joe's mom, and those who support them, Don and Joe. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. We commend to your mercy all who died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with Howard and Francis and Claire and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. We pray for Todd Dunstan today on his birthday and for all who share a birthday today for the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray, O God our King, by the resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ on the first day of the week you conquered sin and put death to flight and gave us the hope of everlasting life. Redeem all our days by this victory. Forgive our sins and banish our fears. Make us bold to praise you and to do your will and steal us to wait for the consummation of your kingdom on that last great day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. O oh God, our times are in your hands. Look with favor, we pray, on your servant Todd as he begins another year. Grant that he may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen his trust in your goodness all the days of his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.